Hello, everyone. Um, I regret what I did. Um, that still caused pain to lives today. Um, at 19 years old, I was sentenced to a sentence of 22 years for assault one and two. Today, I will be reading from Arresting Citizenship, The Democratic Consequences of American Crime Control by Amy Learman and Vesla Reaver. When we take account of criminal justice and its attendant harm to citizenship, it becomes clear that the trajectory of state development in this domain has undermined the democracy we thought we had achieved. By silencing the political voice of a staggering large group of Americans who are heavily concentrated in the nation's most disadvantaged cities and towns, Americans who are heavily concentrated in the nation's most disadvantaged cities and towns, the criminal justice system has weakened the ability of communities to address problems of collective concern. By showing blacks that America is the land of disappointment and neglect, rather than equality and the American dream, we have walked back the gains of the civil rights era. By undermining citizens' political trust and efficacy and decreasing political engagement among substantial segments of society, the politics of punishment and policies they have engendered have diminished democracy. In the past few decades, America has transformed its criminal justice system, but criminal justice has also transformed America. Thank you. Hello, my name is Isaac Sweet. And so far, I've served roughly two decades of a 35-year prison sentence that I received as a teenager for first-degree burglary and assault. Today, I will be reading from Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. Vaclav Havel, the great Czech leader, said that people struggling for independence wanted money and recognition from other countries. They wanted more criticism of the Soviet empire from the West and more diplomatic pressure. But Havel said that these were things they wanted. The only thing they needed was hope. Not that pie in the sky stuff, not a preference for optimism over pessimism, but rather an orientation of the spirit. The kind of hope that creates a willingness to position oneself in a hopeless place and be a witness. That allows one to believe in a better future, even in the face of abusive power. That kind of hope makes one strong. <laughs> 